Okay, Miss Hankins, what is your favorite word? I like the word cascading. What about cascading do you like? It reminds me of a waterfall. And the soothing sounds of water. What is your least favorite word? Uh, putrid. What don't you like about putrid? Um, it reminds me of something very smelly and disgusting. Can you say something like, describe something that's like very smelly and disgusting? Uh, quite a few things actually. <laughs> um, rotting animals. Okay. Um, Bad what trash. <laughs> <laughs> what sound or noise do you love? Oh, actually, I kind of like the absence of sound. I have two young kids that are always talking, and so I, one time I remember when I went outside and it was winter, and there, it was snowing, there were no cars driving around, and it was just if you love the absence of sound, why did you become a teacher? Um, so I get a lot of sound during the day, but I think because I get so much during the day, um, I don't really mind it. It's just sometimes it's nice to not have it. And if you weren't a teacher, what profession would you, um, would you want to do the most? Um, I think anything working directly hands-on with animals, especially like wildlife. What profession would you never want to do? Um, anything that involves bodily fluids, cleaning up them, being around them, yeah. Like biology labs? Uh, that typically doesn't have bodily fluids, <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Um, what aspects of your classroom are essential to fostering a learning environment? Um, I think a positive place. Um, you know, where people feel safe to say what they want to say, to answer questions, even if they'll be wrong. Um, you know, a place where people feel like they're, um, they're being treated fairly and with respect. And what do you do to uh, make kids feel safe in your classroom? Um, I think it's just the interactions and then stopping things that I think are not uh, appropriate. Um, you know, keeping track of the comments that are said, how people respond, expressions, you know, that, that kids are making, just really paying attention to those so that um, I can kind of stop things before they escalate. What are your long-term uh, goals for as far as teaching and uh, like science? Um, so, you know, just my long-term goals are to stay current uh, with you know, new things that are coming out in science, new techniques that are being used within uh, classrooms that help students learn. Um, you know, with science, there's constantly new uh, discoveries being made, new information that, that's being brought to light. So just staying current with that and getting that out to uh, students. If someone walked in in your classroom on a normal day, what would they see? Well, I don't think there's any normal day. Um, that's part of one of the reasons why I became a teacher is because they're every day is a little bit different. The interactions that you have with students are different. Um, and so, you know, with a science class, there, you know, it can be a variety of things. Sometimes, you know, students will be working individually, sometimes with a partner, other times in groups. Uh, with science, we do get to do a lot of labs. So, um, that is one thing that's unique for when, when you teach the sciences, um, is that you have lots of many, many different types of labs that uh, you get to do with students. What are your main hobbies outside of teaching? Um, so my, one of my main hobbies is traveling. Um, I really enjoy traveling. Uh, reading, if I get the chance, I usually save that for the summer, but uh, those are two of the main ones, you know, hiking. Would you rather go on vacation in Hawaii or Alaska, and why? Ooh, I've been on vacation in both places, and by far I would choose Alaska. Um, it, just the scenery is really beautiful there. I think about like the icebergs and the ocean and the crystal clear blue. Um, 
you know, the, the variety of wildlife, uh, you know, just the, how open it is, and, um, you know, that's such a fragile ecosystem that it's, it's really cool to see some of these places that, you know, hopefully they'll be around, but um, some of them, there's already a lot of, you know, things like glaciers with glacier melt and things like that. It, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be able to see those things while they're still around. And would you rather own a houseboat or a speedboat? And relate that to yourself. <laughs> a houseboat. <laughs> I've been on both. Um, I don't really enjoy being on a speedboat because I feel like I'm going to fly out of the boat. <laughs> so um, I prefer a houseboat. If you won the lottery and had a chance to quit your job, what would you do for the rest of your life? Uh, I would probably work with nonprofits that were doing things, you know, to help people out, um, causes and things that I, that I'm interested in, um, you know, just trying to somehow make the world a better place. Um, what's a place you've always wanted to go and never got the chance? Uh, New Zealand, for sure. What about New Zealand attracted you? Um, I, well, I've, met people from New Zealand um, and a lot heard about a lot of people that have traveled there and just some of the things that they've seen um, you know part of it is the you know the natural environment there um, and the culture of the people that live there so that's part of the reason if you had a chance to do college all over again and choose your profession would you do it um, I actually had a different major it was uh, wildlife biology and so, and I worked as a wildlife biologist for U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before I became a teacher. So um, I, I think I would still keep the same major and have that experience because if I didn't, it wouldn't have led me into teaching. <laughs> so yeah, so I'd keep the same major. If you were to create a work of art, what subject would it be? <laughs> so I am a horrible artist. Uh, I would probably choose to do some like abstract art and it would probably be like a sunset with like where I could just put lots of colors and people would be like wow that looks really nice when in that actually I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs>